Hi lovies, it's me. Sorry it took so long to get this video up. I know I said like two weeks ago I was going to have a video up in a couple of days, but it wouldn't be a true Kim video if I had it up on time. So here I am. Um, I actually didn't want to be on camera for this video, honestly. Uh, as you can probably hear in my voice, I'm sick again. This is like my third cold in two months or some shit. And basically all I want is to be able to breathe through my nose, but clearly that's just too much to ask for this summer. So, I digress. Um, I want this video to be about the concept of self-healing, and I also kind of want to do a mini Oracle deck shout-out, um, because I have two decks in particular that have been really, really vital in my self-healing process lately. Uh, as you probably remember from my last video, uh, I was talking about how things are kind of up and down with me, kind of in the middle of a mess. And uh, without getting into too much detail, because it is very personal, um, I was recently diagnosed with an anxiety disorder. And while, you know, a lot of people have anxiety disorders, it's really not the end of the world for me. Um, it's been something that I've been dealing with for most of my life. And uh, I always just dismissed as, oh, you know, that's just part of Kim's personality. You know, I've, I've even had friends and family members, you know, oh, whatever, it's just Kim being Kim. It's just how she is. But now that there is a name attached to what I've been experiencing, it's both relieving and very scary because now I have the ability to address it and uh, try to heal and fix as much of it as I can. So it's been a very stressful couple of months for me, um, rewarding but stressful. And I've been doing a lot of self-searching, self-addressing, um, I guess you can call it shadow work. Um, I know a lot of people don't use this time of year as uh, their time for shadow work. That usually happens in the fall. But for me, it all kind of fell into place by sheer shit accident now. So I'm going to address it while it's all still fresh. I don't want anything to kind of fall to the wayside. And uh, I've been trying to refocus on my practice as well because in the mess in the whirlwind that has been my anxiety disorder, <laughs> um, my practice has really kind of taken a seat in the back burner, and I'm not so proud of that either. So I'm trying to get everything back into the swing of things, and that actually involves using oracle cards, tarot cards, and all that. So, you know, after seeing the doctor and coming home and, and just kind of sitting, thinking about everything that I've learned about myself in that short period of time, I decided to try to use two different decks. They kind of they kind of spoke to me. Well, no, I hate using that term. I hate using that term. They really, I felt that these decks would be good to like, oh, let me use these as positive motivators. Um, and because I didn't want to get too, too deep. I didn't want it to be exactly what shadow work is, but I wanted to be able to kind of maintain positive a positive attitude every day. Um, because for myself, being mostly a negative person, uh, that would be a nice change, and I wanted to see if it would help me move forward. So those two decks, I'm not going to lie, they're actually, they were both impulse buys, believe it or not. Uh, the first one is the Earthly Souls and Spirits Oracle Deck by Terry Foss. She is a self-published artist. Um, I saw a lot of her stuff on Instagram and Etsy, and a lot of people were talking about her on YouTube. Um, so I decided to join the bandwagon, and I'm like, you know what? I like her art. Her art actually was, I, I find, really pretty. So went ahead and bought it. And then the other is the Shamanic Healing Oracle Cards. Sorry about the glare. There's really not much I could do about it. <laughs> Um, by Michelle Matusis. This I actually saw in a bookstore. Uh, I usually go to a bookstore, just kind of unwind. I love bookstores. And uh, believe it or not, I'm actually capable of leaving without buying anything, which is a plus, except for this time. I saw these, and they just looked fascinating to me. I was intrigued by them, so I thought, why not? So I picked them up. And they have been a beautiful pair, and as I've said, very vital to my self-healing process. Um, now that I can formally address parts of myself that I want to fix, it's it's been very important to me to kind of maintain that positive energy and motivation um, because I do have a, a tendency of getting very stagnant and 
uh, kind of just getting bored with things and giving up on them halfway through, which is probably why I can never commit <laughs> a practice or a craft or anything like that. But I've been making sure that I keep up with these two things and I'll, I'll kind of go into how I use them. Um, and I'll show you a few cards as well. The backs of the Earthly Souls and Spirits Oracle, I love because I love the moon. Each one's different, just moons for days. Um, but the artwork is also very, very crucial and critical to me. Um, it's calming, it's soothing. Some of it can be a bit jarring, but you need that every now and then, I think. And each of these cards has one word and, uh, written on it. No phrase or anything like that, just a word. And so I use the, this deck primarily to have a motivational or positive thought to keep in mind throughout the day. Um, just remember to, you know, just something to focus on and keep my mind on. So let's see here. This one's beautiful. What else have we got? Adventure. Wish. And you can see it's just, it's like a theme. Breathe. I like the use of blues and purples in these. That's what always, that's what helps me to nurture. So these here I use, again, just for, okay, what are you going to focus on today? What kind of positive attribute are you going to focus on today? You know, so this one, this one is spontaneous. Some of them, you know, like mystical, for example, kind of have to go a little bit deeper. Celestial. But each so far has been has been uh, really helpful in keeping my train my train of thought in a positive way. Instead of focusing on oh, you know, what 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 am I doing wrong today? What am I, you know, how am I driving people crazy today? And the other deck. The Shamanic Oracle, Gilded Edges, so it's pretty, pretty. See, it's all fancy. Um, the Spirits, Earthly Souls and Spirits Oracle is 59 cards. The Shamanic cards are 44. Um, so they are a little bit uneven, but that's okay because they work wonderfully together. And these I use, I look at these as more of the grand scheme cards. You know, I focus on what, what thought can I focus on and how can I apply it to the grand scheme that is my life. So... I really apologize about the glitter, guys. This one's Transformation. Ancient Wisdom. Movement into Balance. So it's kind of like, for me, a positive thought and a life lesson. Idea. Truth. Home. And they've just been really helpful. And of course, you know, as I do this, I've been journaling like a mad woman. And it, it's been it's been absolutely wonderful. I cannot recommend these cards highly enough for anyone who wants to do some. I'm not going to call it shadow work. I really don't know what to call it. I guess just self-healing, um, self-motivation, positive thinking. It's just, I usually, what I do is I pull two cards before I go to bed and see how they've either applied to the, de the day before, or sometimes I do that and like, okay, this is what I'm going to focus on tomorrow, and then I sleep on it as well. Um, so it, they've been really, really helpful for me, and it's been very, very therapeutic. Very, very. I'm going to keep saying it. <laughs> it's been a really therapeutic process for me, and I'm, I'm glad that I kind of found these two decks when I did because apparently I needed them. And um, I'm not the type of person to pair my cards with crystals, but I've also been using my rune wand that is made of rose quartz because this process I've been, I've not, not self-pity or anything, but I've always been the type to struggle with self-love. I love everybody else more than I love myself. So it's been really important throughout this process to really worry about myself more than anybody else at the moment. And I, I need to remember that that's not a selfish thing to do. Sometimes it's necessary. So this has also been really crucial to that part of my practice. So, yeah, 
that's what I've been doing. I started this video was kind of a downer. <laughs> you know, I hate downer videos, but I really wanted to give a shout out to these two particular decks. They've been wonderful, and I can't recommend them enough. The best, they're the best impulse buys I could have ever asked for. So <laughs> I'm really pleased with them. Um, and I hope that you guys, if you already use them, fantastic. If not, definitely look into them because they're they're charming, they're simple, but they pack a punch. So there it is. Um, I highly recommend them, as I've said numerous times. But yeah, that's all for now. I thank you all for watching, and as always, love and blessings. Bye-bye.